Hello everyone, welcome back to another episode of Article of the Week. This is a series where I simply take one of the articles that I have read over the week and I try to expand them for you in the form of a video. Now of course if you want the detailed summary of this very video then it's attached down in the description box below. But without wasting your time, here's the upfront conclusion from what we are going to discuss today. Okay so the upfront conclusion is that there was once a time people feared the Matrix trilogy was more than fictional. Now we are celebrating that notion. So this is like the upfront conclusion and how did I arrive at this? Well, we are going to break it down just for you. So let's get started. So you know that there was once a time where we looked at the heart and we saw that if the heart was really beating fast and if it was beating properly, if it could, you know, vary between different heartbeats, then we could safely say that the person was alive. Now we have switched to looking at the brain and that is because the brain is such an important parameter for your life. You cannot simply replace your brain and be the same person like you can with another heart or another liver. I mean sure brain transplant exists but there is a possibility of your personality changing even if you go for it and that is because you are described by the connectome of your brain and the way it sort of works out is that a connectome is basically the neural networking that is present in your brain it is unique to you and the way these connectomes are formed is basically by the experiences that you have gone through as an individual and since they are unique that means that the connections within your brain are also unique that means that you even if you go for a brain transplant you're going to have some sort of changes in your personality as a consequence of simply changing a brain with someone else's something that is not very evident if you go for a heart transplant or a lung transplant so imagine this happening Let's just say that we are able to map out your entire connectome. It is equivalent to mapping out your entire memory. Now, when you pass away, let's just assume that we can somehow store this connectome. We can somehow store your brain tissue. And there is in fact an entire process called vitrixification that does exactly that. Of course, the caveat is that you have to be dead or otherwise the procedure is simply going to kill you. But there are entire companies out there such as Nectome, which are actively engaging in doing just that. And the main purpose of preserving your connectome is that once we have enough data and enough capability to create some kind of an artificial body for you or you may be just be able to you know swim around the cyberspace we can actually give you a new life so this is basically some sort of preservation of the self this is different from cryotherapy of course because in cryotherapy your body needs to be preserved as well whereas with this your brain can simply be transferred in some sense or your consciousness along with its entire memory can be transferred into an artificial body more than that imagine this happening imagine that you have witnessed a very significant event in your life something that you have experienced firsthand let's just say you went to the war well first of all if you went to the war then you have my sympathies with you because after reading a lot of history i understand how harrowing war can be on anyone's mind but let's just say that we are explaining to students in the classroom how harrowing war can be and of course the textbooks cannot do any kind of justice to the first-hand experience that you have got now of course if we can somehow extract your connectome then we can also extract the memories associated with it and that means that we can also create some sort of open source memory storehouse right and then anybody can simply plug in so imagine that students of the future can plug into your memories to feel what it was like to be alive during the 2020 pandemic that would be a hell of an opportunity to be very honest i mean imagine being able to do that with somebody who was a world war ii veteran now of course there are a lot of ethical issues behind this is this something that should be done is this something that government should be actively working towards and specifically with the process of vitrixification we understand that a lot of times uh, with the current technology that we have if you want to map out your connectome you would actually have to die so that is like a really steep price to pay for a possibility that's you know somewhere down the line like 50 years into the future let's just say or maybe 100 years into the future i cannot predict the world of course with the sort of changes that are happening so rapidly so would you be willing to take that kind of risk would you be willing to give up your life right now in order to have a good body or you know like some sort of uh, existence within the cyberspace in the future that really depends on what your condition is chances are if you're watching this video then you have got sound eyes you have got perfectly fine ears as well hopefully well then maybe it's not exactly a very lucrative position for you however there might be somebody who is tied down to their bed and they're basically just brain dead however their brain is functioning enough 
to actually keep the connectome healthy and in such a case maybe just maybe the person who is in charge of making the decisions on this person's behalf can actually sign up for the connectome project and have their entire connectome simply collected and instead you know the person would die of course but they would in essence be preserved so that was all for article of the week this week and of course i would see you some other day probably next sunday of course and if you of course enjoyed this video then a sub to the channel would be amazing to be very honest because i keep continuing to make these kinds of videos every single week just for you guys that's all for this one take care